No. It's attack against attack. Left hand against right hand. Zox against Jong Jihee. And Bernadette Zox, currently ranked at 55 in the world. She's acquitted herself rather well so far during the tournament. She's had numerous times where she's gone to sudden death at 10 all. John Jaheim, of course, in the blue. She has come alive now in the last two rounds of T2. Getting to grips with the play, so this should be an exciting and thrilling last match for you guys at home. And here she is, the smiling Winnie Che, the referee, back in the house. Time. First game, John from Team JJ to serve. Love all. One love. Loose receive from Jocks. John Dehe stepping in with a lovely backhand down the line. Hey. One all. And John Dehe, obviously. Early ranked on the world tour. But she had struggled in the first two or three weeks of T2 to just get comfortable within the T2 family and just let her table tennis be expressed as it normally is on the world tour. Let's see if she can relax and play the table tennis that she knows that she's capable of. Yeah, she's doing really well. Coming in behind her service. So Ox is not reading the side and top, short to the forehand. Let two, three. Correct call. Gotta Three. think this is a clear oh. tactic from John Jahi. She knows that when Sox plays that first backhand, she takes a small little step in the middle of the table so she can cover both sides. So playing one slightly more to the middle, then out wide, is a good tactic. Three, four. Decent direction there from the Zox racket, zipping that ball right into the middle of G. Five, four. Flat flick not paying off this time, but we've seen her implement it again and again through our T2. It's really effective to have in your armory. play from G on the back foot somehow getting the ball back Six. Oh. got a feel though with John Jahi's game she needs to stay a little bit closer if she wants to play that forehand she's al always seems like she's just really reaching out a little bit in front of her body Six. Oh. She needs to be closer to play that sharp little forehand stroke Always serves well. Wonderful array of serves. Oh. 
good lesson for club players around the world. Get that racket out in front of you. Huge chance then to get some of these bigger shots back. Seven, eight. Great table tennis all round. And it's been at this very high level all afternoon. from the first match between Matthias Carlsen and Vladimir Samsonov. The stage was set for another fascinating tussle between two world-class teams. Nine, eight. Zox did really well there to get out of that wide backhand corner, but just catching the edge of a little bit of fortune a lesson on when to use the flat hit. Kick over, kick over, and then squelch. Just peering down to the other side of the table. Where am I going to serve this one? Too much emphasis on the serve and not enough on the third ball. So game point now to Jong ji -hee. And as we oh. were saying, no it's news. always 10 all with Bernadette Zox. We as well just start our matches at 10 all. We know what's going to happen. 24 minutes of 10 all sets. Might get Team Pearson back in the run then. <laughs> and surprise, surprise. Kill surprise. There we go. Unbelievable. How many times? She waltzes out there, 11-10. Win the big points. Story of sport, really. It's interesting. Talking a little, a little bit to Bernadette Shocks. She feels good at 10 all. The times when she doesn't feel good, though, is when she's in the kill zone. She feels the pressure there more so than a 10 all. Just interesting to see what way the mind works for each individual player. Uh, John? You was that you sitting faster. down having okay. dinner with her, was it? <laughs> Second game, search to search. Sharing a car to the airport, Nuff actually, but all. in the mix. you got to like the, the cars that the T2 put on as well. Nuff. Such Nuff. luxury Nuff. around here. Anyway, back to the table tennis. The last time these two met was all the way back in round one. It was Shocks coming off the better in that one. Three games to one. And has taken the lead in this game. Clever receive right off the side of the table. And then meant that Jong ji had to stride across. And just mistiming the forehand. Another misread of service, though. You've got to think she gets to grips with the serve of Johanji. Then maybe she can pick up a few more points. The set will be a little bit easier for her. Three, two. Instead of always coming from behind. Two, four. <laughs> Nets and edges in table tennis. It always surprises me how how frequently this happens. Two, I think four. since the introduction of the bigger ball you know, years and years ago now. It went from the 38 mil to the 40, then to the 40 plus. It's been amazing how many times the ball clips the net and goes over. Maybe it's all in my mind. 
crowd are absolutely Five, loving that five, replay. Three. Giggles and giggles rippling through the cavern. Well, it's Six, nice to see the three. players exuding the personality out there. So important. Table tennis players with no personality. No thanks. Well, you won't find any of those players here at Seven. T2, I can assure you. Better timing. She's got to try and hold herself together. It's always rough when you lose on that sudden death juice at the end of the first set. Now it's time to refocus. Flat flick followed by a flat punch. Difficult to do, but Shox does this extremely well. Uses the speed of the ball more so than the Eight, spin. Four. Decent Nine, spin up there, four. loading the ball up. She, she was rushing a few of them yesterday and dragging them off or net off. Mr. Cool there, fanning himself like he was yesterday. I assure you, it's not too warm in here. New serve and a new backhand. Still five set points to save though. Oh, oh come on! Nonchalantly stroked away there. Well, what did Bernadette Zox have for lunch? Well, if you earn a raise of the eyebrows and a puff of the Chiefs from Vladimir Samsonov, you're doing something right. So just stay calm, play this. You don't have to play more difficult. Play this, it's perfect, yeah. And you change all the time. It's also very good. You make this flip, other receives, yeah, okay? And also with the backhand, that you sometimes this, but also the push. Yeah, yeah sometimes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Swapping round after two games. Different to what we see in normal table tennis on the world tour. That's what the T2 Asia Pacific Table Tennis League is all about. One point in the clear. <laughs> it's good stuff. It really is good stuff. John Jahi doing really well to get a few of those big shots back. Pizza. Two, all. So, get on with it. Three, two, three. Nobody messes with Winnie Che, that's for sure. 15.1 seconds, and that is noted. This is where we've seen John Jahi struggle in the past. 
getting into a little bit of a rut, Four, becoming two. a little bit despondent and not going for a shot. So if she lets Bernadette Sox continue attacking, this could be extremely harsh for Team JJ. Four, three. Shadowing the successful service. Hey. Yeah, just taking that ball a little bit too late. Took the ball as it was coming down below the table. from Bernadette Zox or is that a little bit dramatic we don't know I think she's just stopped dead on an ankle that's already strapped so if there is any pain Lisa, five, oh. stopping dead does have a lot of shock on the body sometimes you're just better than you running right into the team instead of stopping dead she's done really well there to be able to push off she could still feel that. This is going to make it interesting now. Yeah. And of course, when you're in pain, suddenly the rallies get extended. It's typical, isn't it? And we've still got 10 minutes left. Six. Oh. The ankle could also be a little bit of a tactic from Bernadette Socks. There could be a lot of pain there, but I've seen her use this tacti tactic before. She likes to slow down the play, give herself a little bit more time. The umpire's not going to call her if they think there's a really bad injury. It's very clever to do that, though. Not many players would push the barrier. But if it gets to the win, that's all that matters. That's a lovely mix of spins. The ankle suddenly feeling a bit better. Hmm. Quick on the uptake there. Racket well in front of the body. Quick reactions. Nice shot. Credit to Joan Jahi there. Getting her racket on that ball wasn't easy. And getting the angle that she got Seven, was even better. Nine. Having one or two problems one minute. with the half long serve. So straight away, Maybe it's clever to more, take a time out work. from yeah. the Romanian. More rotation also. But this one is backhand with spin straight, it's perfect, yeah? Huh? Yeah, 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 this one, yeah, but little mid mid, logic. But this last one also, you can also make the mid a little, yeah? But wait for this long service, yeah? But little more rotation, yeah? And to the middle also, maybe, okay, good. Eight, nine. Clever to serve in the same area again. Look to attack. Couldn't be another 10 all, surely. Come on, Bernadette. But John did the right thing, not right. Stayed in. Rode out the Bernadette's socks forehand. Oh, 
And there it is, a little throw of the racket as well. Oh, she's not happy. Great little flat flick from John Jahi. Credit to her. And that keeps this game fascinating. We'll see you in a few seconds. Let's see if that fieriness, that steeliness, that ruthlessness. Love one. Well, didn't really see it there in that first point. That ball just went straight down on the Tara Flex floor. Let's love one. start here. That's what we were seeing yesterday when she got round the corner there. Just not accelerating enough and the amazing how many times then the ball goes net and off. Let's to love. Winnie Che signalling yet another let. Three love. No, we've seen this before. Zox has been incredible in the past of using the frustration to her advantage so she could yet turn this around. But also we've seen her blow up in the past. So it's a fine line. She's a very fiery character. And she's good for T2. Stuff. Wow. Holding until the right opportunity came along and then whack. Five, one. Ah, oh. oh, come on, that's the left handed Jorgen person there. Much else Jocks could have done that rally. The last time she played that shot, John he did miss it, so credit to Shocks for throwing it in. Two, six. It's better there. She's trying to compose herself. Appreciating there the little fade receive out wide. Didn't quite work though. Not been able to feel back the next shot. Six, four. Six. We've seen Five. this time and time again. Shocks 4 1 down, now only 6 5 down. Crawl their way back into this set and pushing Team JJ to call a timeout. You think Posty, you play good, she did some good goals, yeah? So you must stay positive, yeah? You're playing good, but she's also playing good, yeah? So now it's better with these changes, you will flip and like this. Not this receive, and if you have, make the work with rotation, yeah? Good, good, good. Second service in the sequence for Gion. Let six five. It's good to see that both players agreeing that the ball had just grazed the top of the net. Five. Some more five, good table tennis. Seven. It's a great matchup when these two players. 
are up against each other. Less than three minutes left. We should get to the end of this set. Yeah, good. Powerful rotation through that one from G. Big rotation there. Oh, that was clever. Drawing Socks in and then playing a quick little block up the line. Socks just not recovering from having to step in and play a forehand. We get to below two minutes, we would hit a kill zone game, and it looks like that's going to happen now. Six, ten. Oh, Eleven, six. The dreaded edge service. Ten. Bet that makes all you club players feel a lot bigger. Seeing some of that. Well, none is even. Two all. We'll be back very shortly. Winnie has just signaled Love there, all. it's time for the kill zone. For both ladies, it's first to five points. At four all, it's sudden death. It sometimes brings out the very best in these elite athletes, the kill zone, doesn't it? smile coming from the face of Jihi. Time to refocus. Two, one. Well, there's a thousand dollars on this kill zone game. Thousand dollars goes a long way in Romania. Five, and look two, at that. Oh, that was tense. Here we go. Who can hold their nerve? 2-2 two, two, and 2-2. Two, two. Well, that was severely put away. No hesitation on the Sox racket. Have some of that. Wonderful oh. angles. That benefit. The advantage that left handers have with that shot. Way out wide to the forehand. A little hop on that ankle again. Don't worry, Bernadette, I seen that. Three. Four, three. On the service. Four to three. Can she hold it together to get over the line? Nail biting. Oh, the ball was there to hit. In the practice hall, you would hit that. A hundred out of a hundred. Just lifting out of the shot. Well. Try this down at your local club. Thousand pound a point. Oh. Oh. Four. Gain a match to serve of Team Hustle. There it is. And it's a bit <laughs> 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 socks. It comes through. Oh, it's the horrible 
change of pace off the net cord. That what? gets the thousand dollars. I can see the absolute devastation on the face of John G. Heap. What a dramatic way to end a dramatic whole match, really. All six games adding to the intensity. Well, if Team Mays and Team Rossi step up and give us a better match than this, I will be absolutely astounded. It's been great from start to finish here. Men's and women's table tennis has been absolutely top draw this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed this wherever you have been. And we'll see you later on. From myself, Gavin Rumgay, and from Ashley Given. See you all later on this evening. <laughs>